Thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing one case of select soccer, case break number 277. Select soccer, case break number 277. I am Soccer Breakers FC. If you're interested in joining my breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. All breaks are live on YouTube. Simply search Soccer Breakers FC. Check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. All right, you got Trev, you got Brazil or what? All right, here we go with the teams. Oh yeah, Trev's got Brazil down there. Let's do it. All right, good luck guys. Here are your teams. Uh, Alex Schalke, Alex McCulley, Alex Kaiser, Dortmund, Andreas Spiekermann, Croatia and Wales, Andre Chile, England, Anthony D, Arthur Gulevich, Spain, Brad, Ireland, uh, Chris, Germany, David, uh, Hungary, Derek, Belgium, Devon, Netherlands, and Bosnia, Edmund Lai, um, Iceland, Dan Federer, Atletico, Giovanni, France, uh, Greg, Sweden, Harry, Russia, Ukraine, Jonathan, Colombia, uh, Joe, Argentina, Kareem, Ajax, uh, Chris Traska, uh, Barca and Real Madrid, Man, Uruguay and Milan, uh, Mario, Austria, Marcus, Swiss, Romania, Nizam, you got PSG, uh, Patrick, uh, USA, uh, Randy, Ivory Coast, uh, Ricardo Martinez, Valencia, Richard McNally, uh, Mexico and Inter, Robert, Italy, Shannon, Turkey combo, uh, Leon, it's got all the base cards, uh, Stephen, uh, Lee, Portugal, Tani, uh, Bayern, Tomas, Juve, Tomas Ott, Thomas, uh, Tomas Serve, uh, Poland, and Trev has Brazil. Let's do it. We can do another case of this too. Uh, select 278 is also close. Whatever fills, guys, I will break. So uh, there's another select up as well.
That was a nice way to start. One of one Pele. Honestly, over the next, I mean, that's it for Futera. I really don't have a lot more left. I've got two more boxes of that stuff left. One is going to be edition two. The other one's going to be edition four. Um, over the next couple weeks, we're going to mostly be breaking this product, Select, because I've stocked up on this, uh, and we'll be breaking a lot of uh, obsidian. So Obsidian and Select are the only two real products that I was able to. I, I mean, you can still get them now, but prices have gotten a little crazy. So I won't be buying a whole lot more until for the next few weeks. But I have enough to hold this over for a couple weeks. And then we've got, uh, got a few cases of Donruss. I'm trying to figure out how to do those probably going to do, I'm leaning towards doing six boxers with Jersey Palooza maybe. I bought some boxes of uh, Donruss, um, the, not the hobby, the retail from Dave and Adam, just to maybe try to do some mixers or something to keep the price down. Teams left on Prism Break. Oh, awesome. What sold? Did something just sell? Something must have just got bought. Alright, so maybe we'll do Prism next. Alright, Sheffield and Leicester sold. Thank you, Jared. Uh, Valencia, Portugal, that was in select. Arsenal sold, thank you. All right, let's see, that's going to make for a... The problem with non, like with the breakaway, it was easy because we could do uh, serial number fillers. With this, the problem is it's kind of hard to do serial number because, you know, the autos generally are not serial numbered. A lot of cards are not serial numbered. So, I guess we could still do serial number. We just have to assign a way to assign non serial numbered autos.
Steven, yeah, honestly, the reason why there's no sign of stopping on case prices is because whenever you have a really high demand and really low, uh, you know, inventory, so people just not that many cases around. This is a perfect example. So, you know, right now, I mean, this was selling on Dave and Adams for twelve hundred a case, like ten days a week ago. Now it's selling for seventeen fifty a case, and in a week it went from twelve hundred to like fourteen fifty to seventeen fifty. But the reason is because Dave and Adams, or not Dave and Adams, uh, Blowout only has like two or three cases. So you know, once they sell those two or three cases, I mean, I don't think the market necessarily is seventeen fifty. Uh, but you know, you might always be able to sell a couple cases at that price, and then when there's just no product they can put whatever price they want and you know people buy it but let's say if there's hundreds of cases of this stuff left then no then you, you know it might not work as well but when there's only a few cases left pretty much name your price that's what happened with donruss there was a crap load of donruss and then people started buying it up and now there isn't very much Donruss left, so. Yeah, and some people do, King. Some people do, on, especially on the older products. They like World Cup Prism and stuff like that. They'll buy it and they'll hold it. And someday that could be worth, uh, you know, big, huge dollars. Awesome, thank you, Jim, appreciate it. Let me take Man U off the board. Man, I can't wait till Panini factories open back up and we start getting some new products. I'm really excited about Impeccable. Impeccable is the one that I'm just dying to get going.
I need a new product coming out. It's going to be crazy right now. Because people are starved for new products. Selling. Not sure what's selling, but something's doing it. Yeah, Panini's in Texas. So that, that's what I've heard is that Texas is uh, definitely one of the states that is uh, opening up uh, sooner than some of the others. So hopefully at least that bodes well for our carts. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, from what I hear in Texas, most uh, businesses are able to open back up. So I'm sure they gotta take some safety precautions, but in general, I mean, I've been to the factory that Panini has, and uh, I mean, for the most part, there's like two workers per station. So I think, you know, the the only one they have like assembly lines where people are like putting in the patches and stuff like that that are fairly close. But I'm sure they could move those away from each other and nurse, make people wear masks and just sanitize and. Uh, I mean, compared to some of those like meat packing places, it's like yeah, and it's a huge factory. I mean, maybe have a couple hundred people working in there. Tottenham sold too nice. So just two teams left. So we got nine left in Obsidian. Two left in EPL Prism. Six left in the next... Uh, select just update Portugal Italy Argentina Portugal still there Italy still there 
Argentina still there. Manu, Germany, Spain. Manu, Germany, Spain. Atletico, Wales, Uruguay. Uruguay is gone. Denmark, Leicester, Monaco. Denmark, Leicester is gone, and Monaco is gone. All right, there we go. I think that's updated now. All right, let me get some regular sleeves. These are thick sleeves. Whoa, what did I do that? Not what I was trying to do. All right, there's that. I was thinking about that, Jim. The only problem is that there's a lot of non-serial numbered cards in this. But yeah, I guess since we're down to two teams, we could. So here's what I'll do. I'll give it another... Uh, towards the end of this box, we'll want a, a filler for that if nobody grabs Liverpool or West Ham. I'd rather we just sell them off if we can, but if not, I'll do it. Uh, Yanko and Arnautovic. It saves us some time if we can sell them. But so if anybody wants Liverpool or West Ham, go ahead and grab them. If not, we'll do a filler. Two forty-six of two ninety-nine Cahill. Jesus Corona. Gary Cahill, 13 of 199. Yeah, zero spots gets the... Because, you know, there's a lot of uh, non-numbered uh, autos in this. Most autos are not numbered. 162 of 249, Ibisovic. But, yeah, I guess that wouldn't be any different than... Better than doing a 10-spot two winner, then they get nothing. 23 of 30. This way, at least uh, every spot has a chance at having some action. Or we could do like non numbered autos go to the 10 spot, all other non numbered cards go to the 9 spot, something like that. I don't know. Just to divide it up a little bit. Because otherwise, the 10 spot gets like a boatload of. Well, there's only two teams, so actually it won't be that bad. Robin Van Persie. Uh, what's next? Well, it looks like EPL Prism is going to be next, guys. From I mean, I whatever you guys fill, I break. So 8 of 30. But for sure, we're going to do those two that you see on the right of your screen, EPL Prism and Obsidian. Those for sure are going to break tonight. 285 of 299, the pie. And then the rest is kind of up to you guys. 34 of 129, Darlington Nagve. Silva, 81 of 149. Robin Van Persie. Eder, 249, 188 of 249. Costa,
Nice. Wow. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. Gold Luca Modric Auto. That is sick, sick, sick. Gold Luca. The lucky owner of Croatia, Andreas Spiekerman. Very good. He's sleeping still, I'm sure, but he will wake up happy. Two of ten gold. Uh, I thought EPO completely scrapped this. I don't think so, Trev. I hope not. So what does that mean? Liverpool gets nada, nada, limonada? They're like, too bad, Liverpool. Sorry. Nice try. See you in another 30 years. No, it's not, Trev. Luca is not a case hit. So you're good. That's the good news about this product is certain players like Luca and Kane are like the nicer autos and they're not considered case hits. Martial is a case hit, but for the most part, there are times when Martial isn't a case hit. But uh, 20 of 49, Luca Modric. This one is Real Madrid. Usually tell the case hit by the fact that uh, 139 of 149, Topal. If we get one of these that is numbered, like one of these uh, thick cards that's numbered, then that's the case hit box. We have had box cases where we have more than one case hit box too. but So we usually get a gold or green or at the very least camouflage uh, of those thick cards in the case hit box. Oh, really? Liverpool would still get the trophy? I don't know. Seems kind of cheesy giving a trophy to someone who hasn't won it yet. <laughs> I know. Here go the Liverpool fans. They're like, no! Alexis Sanchez. But hey, he's still got to win it. Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, wasn't talking to you. Can't say that word, otherwise she wakes up. 36 of 299. That's true. They will be known as the COVID champion. Oh, they already declared PSG champ in France? I didn't hear that. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, realistically, there was about a 99.99999% chance that Liverpool was going to win unless they decided to lose like 20 matches in a row. Even if they lost all the rest of their matches, they still would probably win. 129 of 199. I think they were only like a couple points away, right? Because then Man City would have to literally win out. Mueller and Alaba. Pig or PSG, I think I was like. Eight of 249. I don't know, like, what are the standings in Germany? Is Bayern in the lead, I presume? 30 of 99, Buffon. Ibisevic, 40 of 60. Lionel Messi. Keen. 
So what are they going to do relegations and promotions too based on current standings and just do nothing? 113 of 293. I mean, I guess it is what it is. What was that? Oh, I thought it was a Pulisic for a sec. Does that mean in like the French League, if you're in the bottom three, you're relegated? And Let's do it. Brazil numbered cards coming up. De Gea. Uh, 107 of 149. Arturo Vidal. 14 of 49. I mean, in Liverpool's case, I, I think, you know, it wouldn't buy because they were so far ahead. Whoa, 90 of 125. But if you got, like, a couple teams that are, like, one or two points apart. I'll figure out a way to let them play at least a couple matches or something. 90 of 125. That one, 90 is in the lead. No relegation and no promotion either. So, I, yeah, I mean, but that's, I guess, yeah, then the championship teams get screwed that we're doing well, but I guess it is what it is. 33 of 99, Cesc Fabregas. So a couple teams will be really saved if that's the case. Imagine if you're, like, last dead last, losing, like, by 20 points over the next team and zero chance of staying up. And But, hey... Like you said, it's not their fault. That would be nice. They could finish up the Champions League. Well, that means Chelsea's in the Champions League next year again. I'll take that. Marco Verratti, yeah, they were down 3 nothing to uh, Bayern at home. So, yeah, their Champions League was pretty much over for Chelsea. 127 of 299. Alves. Guardado. Yeah, that would be a big, big boost. So Bundesliga is starting back up, right? Someone told me they were starting up like in a week or so on the 16th or something. Yeah, that's true. But this is on the road at Bayern. So, but yeah, it could happen, I guess. Not likely, but 0-4 of 99. If that happens, uh, yeah, I would be... Yeah, but you're right. Liverpool was without... They're like top two players too, right? Wasn't it Salah was out and Courtois and company. Manzukic, 39 of 60. Fuchs to 60, Otto. Hey, at this point, man, I'll watch anything. I'll be like, go Freiburg. I'm going to be a 
Eintracht Frankfurt fan. Because of uh, Thorsten. I think I could root for Stuttgart. That's where my aunt lives. Yeah, I've watched replays of the NCAA championship like a gajillion times because I have Villanova on there. Uh, 2016 championship match and then the 2018 championship match. I've just been watching that over and over. Whenever I'm bored, that's what's on. I've got like the plays memorized at this point. Joe Hart. 9 of 30. Dimitri Payet. Yeah, a couple of World Cup uh, matches on DVR too. Sergio Ramos, 105 of 299. Strutman, 23 of 99. Werner, is he, uh, has he been, Werner's been around for a while, right, Brad, or what, Timo Werner, is he, like, his card's doing well? What's his name, right? Holland. Holland is going to be the the big daddy of them all. Yeah, because Werner has been around for a while. As far as I'm... He's 24. How old's Holland? Holland's like 20, 21 still, or is he... Whoa, just like that. Broke right to Michael Bradley Green, one of five. Toronto FC. The 30 Hawitis. I guess these are like, see, these are the cards that used to be like $1 cards, and now I guess because of, uh, aren't those the ones selling well now? Anything Ronaldo, Messi, Silvers? Chicha to 20. Uh, 134 of 199, Moreno. Sergio Ramos, uh, 
75 of 199. 40 of 149, Ashley Williams. Right, something just sold. Let's see what it was. Lewandowski, sky's the limit. Guys, I plan to post another eminence tomorrow, so I will update you guys on Facebook, but I do plan to post eminence. Kyle bought something. What did you buy? 149. I don't see. Oh, Portugal maybe, huh? Kyle's going Portugal. Good luck, Kyle, brother. That Messi's 20 bucks? Well, in that case, I guess it deserves a top loader. If it was 2014 World Cup Prism, it'd be like 400, 500 bucks. See, we got six left in 278, seven left in 79. We've got one left in EPL Prism. What got bought? Liverpool or West Ham? Liverpool's still up there. All right, we can do a serial number filler for Liverpool. Montolivo to 30. All right, anybody want Liverpool? Grab them. If not, we'll do a serial number filler for Liverpool. All right, thank you, Kyle M. You got uh, West Ham. Argentina also sold an obsidian. All right, there we go. That's what we got. Daniel Sturridge. Gunnarsson, 24 of 125. All right, thank you, Kyle. Good luck. Thank you both Kyles, you guys uh, helping out here. Uh, Dempsey, 45 of 75. Wayne Rooney, uh, 131 of 249. Right now I believe the winning number is 90. Rai Sousa de Oliveira, 27 of 30 autograph tie-dye for Brazil. Chicha, Lewandowski, wow, we got a lot of Kyles in here, now we got two Kyle M's, you guys are killing me, I'm going to keep track of all this, I was like Kyle O, Kyle M, now we're going to have to go to Kyle M C and Kyle M O, have to go to down the line. All right, let's see what else. Something else just sold too. John D. Chris Traska just grabbed a bunch. All right, John grabbed a bunch in 279. Traska, thank you, Chris. You got Atletico. 
Yeah, we're going to have a busy night. we got a lot of stuff filling up. Because of their uh, number cards, uh, King, it's an expensive product right now, and it's all about the top four teams. I'm actually breaking it at under what I could buy it at now. So just... Just crazy. Everything's gone crazy. I mean, the prices, I haven't really changed that much, but Liverpool is because their numbered stuff uh, sells crazy. They have some decent autos, but it's mostly about the numbered cards. Yeah, the teams with the best autos by far are Manchester United and Arsenal as far as autos go. And then Tottenham and Chelsea, okay, and Liverpool, you know, but Liverpool, their numbered stuff sells way better than any of the other teams. Even their, like, mediocre players sell better than some good players. Yeah, EP everything's gone nuts. I mean, I, I just can't get product anymore. That's the problem. Like, EPL Prism... Uh, the problem with case prices going up is it becomes hard to break it by pick your team because it's hard to justify, you know what, if case prices double, are people going to pay $400, $500 for Liverpool? Probably not. So at that point, the only thing you can do is just break it by the box or do like small mixers with a couple boxes here and there. Uh, hasn't gotten there yet with... Uh, with EPL Prism, but like Donra Soccer is an example. I mean, it's selling for almost four thousand dollars a case, where it was selling for like a third of that, like two months ago. It's more than doubled, so it's just impossible to get product at a price where you can actually break it. Yeah, nobody has product, and well, actually, it's not that bad. I mean, if you look at what the look at what those uh, remember those boxes we were doing. I don't know if you guys check that out. Those breakaway boxes now are two hundred dollars a box. Limit. The EPL, the regular EPL Prism is still not bad, but we're still breaking it at under what they're, they've got it at. Right now they've got it at like $1,800 a case, uh, regular EPL Prism. $71 of $199. And what? You can't get more than like $20, $30 bucks for like Bournemouth or Burnley or those teams. So that means you're going to have to get $250, $300 bucks for Liverpool and Man U. Otherwise, it's impossible to break. There's only 20 teams. 286 of 299 25 of 75, Ben Ticket. Messi Ozil. 229 of 249. 32 of 75, Carlo Ancelotti. Yeah, basketball like a box of prisms, 1200 bucks. You're right, like prism basketball, $1,200. It's insane. Mm. 
94. Argentina shoots. Argentina scores. Who's got Argentina? Is that Joe? Usually Joe buys Argentina. Joe, good luck, buddy. You got three boxes to survive. Joe's in the lead. Sorry, Mexico, you're out. One number 90 is out. Jermaine Jones, 19 of 149. 27 of 49. Jordan Henderson. Casillas and Costa. Gonzalo Iguain. Sixty eight of two forty nine. Dele Ali. Manzukic, 68 of 299. Fellaini, 101 of 199. Oh, yeah, let me serial Liverpool. Give me a second here, guys. Sorry, I forgot. Let me do this serial number. Let me see. Is it still there? That way we'll be done with it before we're done here. Give me a sec, guys, before we do this last two boxes. I'm going to serial number Liverpool. All right, here's what we're going to do, guys. I just made it. We're going to serial number Liverpool. Uh, only caveat is whoever, 10 spot will probably be the best spot. Whoever lands in the 10 spot, We'll get um, we'll get all non-serial numbered Liverpool cards. So it's better than doing ten spot one winner. This way, at least everybody has a shot at something. And if it's a numbered auto, then you know it'll go to the serial number. Ten spot serial number. This is for Liverpool only. Twenty five per. Let's go two four forty eight. How's that? All right, 25 per, 2 for 48. Uh, this fills um, fills EPL Prism. Let me see what sold. Italy menu. Italy sold. All right, so this is there. All right, let's see. Uh, Ashotoku. All right, I think we're... Let me see. Ash, oh, you got one. Ash, you got one. Spot two to Brad. Two spots for Andrea. Spot three to Jim Edwards. All right, uh, Andreas, I'll give you four and five. All 
And Linus gets four and five. Uh, spot eight, David de la Pena. Uh, Kyle McGeechee, did you mean spot number two or two spots? I mean, I can give you a different spot. You have a spot if you want. I'm just not sure what you meant. Uh, Jim Edwards also wants spot nine. Uh, Tate, I think you are in. Uh, I just don't know if uh, two spots. All right. So I think, Kyle, you got two spots. And I think you get the last spot, Tate. Tate Johnson. All right, did I miss anyone? All right, I think that's it. Did I miss anyone? Let me move this up. Let me know if I missed anyone. I got Ash, Brad, Jim, Andreas, Andreas, Kyle, Kyle, David, Jim, and Tate. Sorry, Jeremy, it's already full, buddy. Hopefully I didn't miss anyone. So go ahead and get your payments in, guys, if your name's there. If I screwed up, let me know. Uh, that's what I had according to my list. Uh, PayPal. All right, let me make sure I don't screw this up. Because I... Csaraj at hotmail dot com. There we go. Jordan Henderson. You know, PayPal was doing that for a while uh, where all the contacts disappeared on the mobile version. If you go on the computer version, it still works. But now I got mine back on the mobile one as well. But for a while, you couldn't, none of the contacts were showing up on the mobile, on the cell phone version of it. But on the, uh, on the regular PC version, it was working okay still. Uh, yes, guys, EPL Prism is next. Ash, you still have... Okay, yeah, I, I, I have cards for a lot of people here, so... Olaf Olafson card. Wow, what team is Olafson on? Okay. Yeah, my house has been crazy, man. It's going because with the whole COVID thing going on, hardly anybody's asking for shipping. Usually, I have like right now I have three tables full of, I've got to figure out a better way to uh, store the international cards. Because I have probably two, 300 breakers here that uh, I'm holding cards for. Mostly not much. I mean, some just have like a couple cards, but just keeping track of it all is a nightmare. So I prefer, with US Canada, I just ship it out at the end of every week so I don't have to worry about it. But, uh, for the guys that break a lot, I've got a system where I've got like cabinets and everybody has their own drawers and stuff, so that's a little easier. But for the ones that have just like one or two breaks, it's uh, it's a little complicated. Devry to 199, 115 of 199.
Buffon and Rossi. Robbie Keane. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just like list everybody on Facebook that has cards here. That way I can say time to ship. Uh, Muslera, Uruguay. Yeah, I was just trying to avoid becoming like, you know, uh, like Com C or something, because a lot of people were just holding their cards here for like six months and then trading a card that they hit like six months ago. And it's a real, I mean, the ones that I hit like weekly, those aren't so bad, but trying to go looking for a card I hit six months ago is uh, it's very time consuming. Oh, the Swedish player that has only one card. <laughs> yep, that one. Moreno. 50 of 125. Buffon. How about Andre Schurla? 17 of 49. You know, see, that's exactly what I have. Actually, I have one of those library cabinets. It's full. That was like the best thing I ever bought. It's like those little card cabinets. They fit cards perfectly, but that thing is full like to the rim. Uh, I've got probably my top maybe 15, 20 international breakers in there. Uh, 17 of 49. So, but it's full. I just need more of them. It is so heavy. Like that thing will never move. It's, you know, it's going to basically be there until we sell the house because it literally weighs like a ton. It's like an old cabinet from like the 30s or 40s. It looks like something out of the maybe 40s or 50s. Alright, this is the case hit box. See, because we hit the numbered one of those. 18 of 20, National Pride, Gonzalo Iguain. So this is going to be our KC Hitty. And this is like upside down all over the place. How about Clint Dempsey? 7 of 75. Seamus Coleman, 25 of 99. Marco Royce. Yeah, I actually got, if you're talking about the storage thing, I got a good, I think I paid like 150 bucks for it, but it is definitely worth it. It is huge. I'll show you guys in a minute after I. Finn Magasin, 34 of 249. Put this down here. Let me put that there. That's our case hit. Pepe, 85 of 299. Uh, Zalai, 60 of 60. That's it. And our case hit is good luck. Green. How about a Christian Pulisic? Polisic die cut. See, that's what I got. I can show you guys this thing here. 
See that thing in the corner? That thing weighs like a ton. It's got like all those drawers and cards fit in it perfectly. It's like almost designed perfectly for cards. I have those little boxes and then the cards just go. Uh, it's the perfect thing for cards, but I can only fit so many. That thing's been full for months already. Jordan, the conquering hero tonight. Mr. Pele, one of one. Actually, that's right. You're the one for me, fatty. all sleeved up the big winner Argentina for the Jersey Palooza spot I'll be posting a couple more um, black gold too All right, here we go, recap time. Yeah, Trev, you're right. Honestly, I don't know how that works. I mean, I know some people like study it and you got, I guess you gotta study the checklist. I honestly have no idea. In select, it's not as bad. In black gold, like the cheap teams seem to win like 80% of the time. In select, uh, I mean, like Argentina, what like the better teams win more often than not. But and the these uh, teams that have these kind of cards tend to win a lot. The whatever that's called, field level base or whatever it's called. All right, we got a, a Messi prism to ninety nine. We got Rakitic, Buffon, and Fabregas to seventy five. Dempsey to sixty. Mandzukic and Zalai to forty nine. Modric and Sherla. To 30, Joe Hart, Montolivo to 20, Chicharito, and Iguain. Uh, 
Uh, to 199, Devry, Fellaini, and Costa. To 99, we got Strutman and Coleman. To 75, Clint Dempsey and Benteke. To 30, Hawidis and Juan Mata. Autos. We got Moreno, Nagbe, uh, Begovic, Fuchs, Muslera, Razvan, Rat uh, to 30, and also to 30, Sousa de Oliveira for Brazil. Going up to the wall, we had Otto Vidal to 49. Jordan Henderson to 49. Carlo Ancelotti to 75. We had a green, Michael Bradley, one of five. I forget who it was. There's a Michael Bradley Uber collector. I forget. Someone had asked me for Michael Bradley base. I'm sure he would be interested in that. One of five, Michael Bradley. Five minus one is four. Boom. Jersey number. And then... We had uh, our non-case hit was Luka Modric, 2 of 10. Our case hit was, uh, oh boy, I didn't forget to look here, I think. That's his jersey number. Sorry, guys, I forgot to show the number. 10 of 49, jersey number. Huh, I don't know why he's wearing number 11 there, but usually his jersey number is 10, or maybe that is a 10. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Polisic is 10. All right, and the big winner, Argentina, 94 of 149. Joe Alfaro. Make sure not to overlist these breaks. All right, we got 10 more left. I got two more listed. So eight more after that. Already 20 down, 10 more to go. We got 278 and 279 already listed. So that means eight more. All right, uh, EPL Prism is next, guys. Let me end the recording here.